Hi everyone, this is Jacob Richman, and today we're going to learn how to install and use sticker packs in WhatsApp. In the WhatsApp application, you can send people emojis, GIFs, documents, audio files, videos, and also stickers. Where do you find these stickers? Well, someone could send you a sticker and then you could forward it to another friend. If you get a favorite, the sticker, and then it'll put it into the favorite file and you can in the future send to another friend. WhatsApp provides a group of free stickers and they're available on the Google Play Store where companies will give you free sticker packs. Uh, free being that you may see an ad or two while you install them. In today's lesson, we're going to install a free application called JR Stickers. This will install 10 sticker packs containing 300 free stickers on your device. Start by going to the address jr.co.il forward slash stickers. In the middle of the page, you will find a big button called Get It On Google Play. Click on that button and it will take you to the installation page of JR Stickers. When the Google installation page comes up, you'll see JR Stickers, you will see a logo of JR Stickers, and you'll see an install button. Press the install button. Google will then ask you for your Google account name, which is usually your Google Gmail email address, then the password. It will then ask you if you have more than one device on which device you want to install the application. Choose your device and then press OK. Within 20, 30 seconds, the program will be installed on your phone and there'll be an icon in the last group of your icons that says JR Stickers. The next step, you will click on JR Stickers and that'll bring you up a listing of all the sticker packs in JR Stickers. There are 10, you could scroll down with your finger and see all 10. If you click on the plus sign near any of the packs, it will install those stickers in WhatsApp. So here's an example where I clicked on Mazal Tov and More. It asks you, would you like to add Mazal Tov and More to WhatsApp? I pressed Add, and then it comes up Mazal Tov and More has been added to WhatsApp. Okay, now you can install as many sticker packs as you want. Uh, I have 10 of them. Uh, no reason not to because you could delete any sticker packs, which you'll see later. Uh, if you are on a different sticker application, they may actually send you commercials or advertisements every time you click on a plus. There are no ads or advertisements in JR stickers. What you will also notice is at the top of the sticker packs is a little eye with a circle around it. If you click on that eye, you'll see links to the website of JR Stickers, the privacy policy, where it tells you or warns you if anyone's collecting information. I don't collect any information. There's a place to rate the application, and there's a place to share with friends the application. So, and you'll see this on JR Stickers and some other applications also have that eye information page uh, that you can look at. At this point, you finished the installation of JR Stickers, and now you just want to go to WhatsApp and run the program. But before we jump to that step, I just want to explain how you close or get out of programs on Android. Okay, most people on Windows know there's a little X on the top right hand corner. You press the X, it closes the program. Some programs have the word exit and you get out. Android's a bit different. If you hit the bottom right hand corner button, which is the back out button, okay, you're just going to back out some screens and you may back out to the beginning and get out, but the application's still running in the background. 
if you hit the middle button, okay, the little squarish button there, uh, it'll send you back to your main menu on your phone and the application is actually still running in the background. Okay, it's not really bothering anyone and it, it, it's very, the applications are very small in this case, but it's not closing the program. To close the program if you wanted to, you press on the three lines. Now this is in Android 9 and 10. It may be a little different figure here in older Androids. It'll get you a list of all the programs currently running and you could swish or close all and then it'll close the program completely. Okay, now we're ready to start WhatsApp. Go on your phone to the icon and click on WhatsApp. In the chat screen, decide who you're going to send to. In this case, I actually chose myself. You can send yourself messages. If you are in the contact phone book of your phone, you could choose yourself and send yourself messages. Anything you could send to other people, you could send yourself. It's good to try it out with stickers so you could see how they look before you send them out. Okay, so in this case, here we're on the screen of WhatsApp, the chat. And on the left side of the type of message, you have a little smiley. I want you to click on that little smiley. When you click on the smiley, by default, you will see the emojis available that you could send. It's a nice list. You could scroll through it. And on the bottom of that, you'll see there's a picture of a little emoji, a little rectangle that says GIF, and then another rectangle. That third rectangle is basically where the stickers are, so click on it. After you clicked on the sticker button, you will see here a list of all the sticker packs that you have installed, including those of JR stickers and the other sticker packs you installed. There's little icons, a row of them, and they scroll to the right. And I've chosen here the first one, which is Mazal Tov and more. And you see here the first uh, 12 stickers, and you could scroll down with your finger and see all 30. Each pack in JR stickers has 30 stickers. If you click on any of the stickers, they simply will be sent. Okay, in this case, I'm sending to myself. And then if you highlight the sticker, not clicking on the sticker itself, but to the left of the sticker, you have a couple of options here. You'll see there'll be a star on top where if you click on it, it'll put the sticker in your favorites. There's a garbage can if you want to delete the sticker you got or the sticker you sent. And there'll be a forwarding arrow all the way to the right, which allows you to forward this sticker. Again, this is stickers that either you sent or you got from someone else. The next part you could check out is if you click on the sticker itself, not double click, but click once, and you'll see information about the sticker. It'll show you what sticker pack it came from. In this case, it's Mazel Tov and more, which is part of JR Stickers. You also have a button there to, to add to favorites. If we click on add to favorites, it'll put it in the favorites. It's just like clicking on the star that we saw on the screen before. If you are looking at a sticker that already in favorites, you could click on remove from favorites. And then you have an interesting button called View More. Now, if you click on View More, it'll simply take you to all the stickers in the sticker pack that you installed. Now, if you did not install JR stickers and you got this sticker from someone else, okay, or your friend actually gets a sticker from you and he doesn't have JR stickers installed, by clicking on View More, it'll send them to the installation page on Google Play Store which means that you don't have to explain to him too much on, oh, these are great stickers, how do I get them? You just have him click on the sticker, click on View More, and it'll send them to the Play Store, which is a very easy way to share JR stickers. Now I'm going to show you how to remove sticker packs, uh, go look for new ones on the internet. I want you to go back to the screen where you press the little smiley to get a listing of all your sticker packs. And all the way on the right, you'll see a little plus sign. Click on that plus sign. The screen will come up with, it says stickers. On one side of the screen, you'll see all stickers. 
and on the right side you'll see my stickers. On the old stickers you'll see all kinds of sticker packs available on Google Play Store that WhatsApp has approved basically by having them on the screen. And basically the list is pretty long. You can actually, on the bottom of the list you'll have an icon to actually go out and search for more. Uh, on the right side you have your sticker packs, whatever you installed. Uh, near each group of stickers you'll see a little garbage can where you can actually remove these stickers from your system. Uh, you'll see four little lines where you actually grab and drag them down to rearrange the order of your sticker packs. If you click on any of the stickers, by the way, you'll get a larger screen with this listing of all the stickers in that sticker pack. And basically, this is the way you can actually uh, remove stickers, rearrange them. And by the way, if you favorited a couple of stickers that you got from someone or from the sticker pack, you could then remove the sticker pack, but your favorite stickers will stay in there which is really nice, which means you can, if you want, delete sticker packs that you don't no longer need. Meaning if you saw a great sticker pack and you just wanted one or two stickers, you could send them to yourselves, favorite them, and then get rid of the pack. So this is really nice. Okay, everyone, the formal tutorial is over, but I still want to show you a little bit more about the stickers. Uh, in your phone, there's a directory called WhatsApp. And in there, there's a directory called Media. And in there is a directory called WhatsApp Stickers. Now, you could look at these directories with any file manager, which is almost on every, every phone. Uh, when we look at the directory, we see that each sticker has a unique file name. They're actually, all these stickers here, by the way, are compressed in a format called WebP. Uh, most uh, programs graphics programs on your computer can look at them, even the paint program in Windows can look at them. Uh, the, the stickers basically don't take up that much room, they're about 60 KB each one. Uh, you could accumulate a couple hundred, I have actually over 3,000 here. Uh, what I did want to point out on the next screen is that if you sent a sticker, I sent myself the same sticker four times, the system will be saving four copies of the same sticker, which means you'll have a lot of duplicates at some point if you're sending out a lot of stickers to many friends. Again, they don't take up that much room. If you want, you could go in, connect your computer to the, to the phone and download from your phone to the computer and then just get rid of the stickers. Or you could keep online because again, they don't take that much room. Uh, basically, I will warn you that videos do take a lot of room. Uh, again, full videos that someone sent you, four or five minute type videos or, or uh, 10, 15 minute long videos, uh, they should be careful. So instead of managing the whole thing from a file manager, you could actually go in to WhatsApp on the top right hand corner on the main screen, click on the three dots, click on settings, and then in settings, click on data and storage usage. You'll get a number, it says storage usage here, 769.5 megabytes. That's how much all my WhatsApp stuff is taking up on my phone. Not, not, not too bad. Again, I have a 32 gigabyte phone. So 769 megabytes isn't too bad. If I click on that storage usage, I will get a listing of all the contacts I have in WhatsApp. And for each one, it will show me how many messages we, we exchanged, how many GIFs, how many videos, how many audio, how many stickers. And we can actually clean up a little bit. Uh, here, we're gonna look at myself and I see I have 65 photos over 3,000 stickers taking up 123 megabytes. You'll notice I have only one video because I actually download the videos to my computer. I do not keep many videos on my WhatsApp. And you also have audio messages and then you have a button called free, free up space, which if you click, it'll give you an option of what you want to delete from this list. Okay, and again, you'll notice you on your groups also, People are sending out all kinds of things on your groups and some, depending on your settings, some of them being saved in these directories and can start accumulating a lot also. 
So basically, this is just a word to the wise, watch out for the videos. Okay, if you like this video, please share it. Uh, feedback is welcome. You can send it to jrichman at jr.co.il. Uh, I also have other training material at jr.co.il slash training. If you like the application, the stick application, please uh, go rate it uh, on Google. You could give from one to five stars. Five stars would really be appreciated. And Zell, and please share. Uh, basically, just have a great day and thank you.